Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Patrick. Welcome to practice. In today's class, we're going to go through some strong and slow movements and also find time to wind down. This would be a great class to take in the early evening to just kind of help you mellow out after a stressful day. Of course, if you enjoy the practice, you could take it at any time. And to address something that a lot of y'all have been asking me about recently, um, how can you support these videos and these classes? Well, of course, just by taking them, by liking and sharing, and of course, by practicing with us at Commune Yoga Online. So this is my studio that we are filming in right now, that we always film these classes in. And this is the space that Carling and I run, and we also have an online platform, so you can practice with us there anytime you want, or of course, just stay enjoying these classes because they are here for you. Let's start today in Child's Pulse. Speaking of which, let's get into the thick of things. So let yourself marinate down for just a few moments here. Allow yourself to let the chest sink. Breathe into the back body. And take one or two moments here. Set your breath, set your intention. Create a connection to you and to this moment. And then go ahead and rise up onto hands and knees. And as you get here, flip the hands back straight away so the fingers point back towards the knees. If this is uncomfortable for you, have the fingers pointing directly out to the right and left side, respectively, with the thumb pointing forward. And then from here, go ahead and move into your cat-cow. So inhale, open the heart, curve the chest forward. And exhale, round into upper back, mid back, and lower back. Inhale, curve out. And exhale, round in. Inhale, curve out. And exhale, round in. Inhale, curve out. Exhale, round in. Inhale, curve out. Exhale, round in. Two more here. Inhale, open the heart. Lean forward, lead the way with the mind, with the gaze. Exhale, round in. Be introverted, find your space. Inhale, round out. Look forward, lead with the heart. Exhale, round in. Inhale, return to your center position. Bring your hands back to their normal rotation. Have the fingers pointing, you know, relatively straight ahead, slightly open on the right, slightly closed on the left, pushing down through the thumbs. And that would be, the open and close would be in reference to opening or closing a can. And then tuck the toes, lift the knees, just slightly. And then from here, we're going to play this cross-directional bounce. So you'll push into the right hand and the left toes, float left hand and right foot, and then switch. So phase one, just feel both floating, feel what it takes to stabilize, and switch. You can go a little faster, a little slower than me, but I want you to find the position, and then leave the position. So you're never in a rush to be there, and you're never in a rush to leave. You're just kind of showing up, you know, right on time and leaving before, you know, the party gets out of hand. So you're casually late, and then leaving at the perfect moment. So you're just finding this little rhythm here. And as you get more comfortable, bring the opposite hand and opposite knee to touch, and switch. So just feeling this little cross-body bounce here. And try to sink your breath with it. Maybe the inhales you create the transitions, and the exhales you create the connections. So what I mean is I'm inhaling as I float, exhaling as I connect, and land. Inhale as I float, exhale as I connect, pause as I land. Inhale, float, exhale, connect, pause as you land. Inhale, float, exhale, connect, pause as you land. Beautiful. As you finish that round, journey back into your downward facing dog. Let's actually start in a shortened downward facing dog stance. So feel as though your heels are on the floor, you're pushing down through the palms, lifting your hips up and back in space. And don't worry about the shape of your dog right now. Just try to feel some length through the body. So maybe you want to bend the knees, take more weight back in space. You want to feel the ability to lift your tailbone up. Find the folding forward of your hips, hips melting over femurs, towards knees, towards toes. 
Feel the descending down. Feel the waterfall of the hips. Good. And then from here, slowly walk your feet out as far as you possibly can. So move past your normal downward facing dog position. And maybe your feet even walk so far back that they leave the mat entirely. Wherever you find that position where it feels like, wow, I've reached my limit, my capacity, look forward, lift your collarbones up, reach the chest out. So you're in this very extended plank pose, holding here. Fight for the stability of it. Take a few breaths. Know that you can be here. Find your length, and then walk your feet back in. Lower your knees to the floor. Tuck the toes as much as possible. Sit back towards the heels. Bind the hands behind the back. Right thumb on top of left or left thumb on top of right. Either is good. Push the palms together and lift the heart up. Create some elevation through the chest and really feel as though you're holding a weight in your hands here. So it's driving you down towards the floor, but every inhale is inflating the chest and it's creating the counter to the hands dropping down. So your body is an act of polarity here. The hands are heavy and the chest is lifted. So you're always playing opposites, even in your own physicality. On your exhale, release. Lean forward, bring your hands back to the floor, untuck the toes and tap the feet a few times. Once your feet feel back to normal, push the tops of the feet into the floor, push down through the hands, lift your knees up slightly, hold your space here, and then we'll play a similar game where we'll lift the right foot off the ground and then bring the right knee up towards the nose, reach the right foot back in space, set the right foot down. Push the top of the right foot down, lift the left foot up, left knee up to nose, left leg reaches back in space, set the left foot down. One more time, each side, fight for it here, right foot lifts, right knee drives up into the nose, into the collarbones, right foot reaches back in space, right foot sets down. Left foot lifts, left knee to nose, left leg goes back in space, left foot sets down. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. So your hips, or excuse me, your quads and your thighs are all of a sudden speaking. You're like, yeah, welcome to practice. Happy you could show up. Inhale, allow your right leg to lift up to the sky. And on the exhale, journey the right foot up to the right thumb. As it lands, lower your left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Open the heart, stretch through the fingers. On your exhale, hands to floor. Left knee lifts, right leg straightens as you fold. Inhale, lean forward, low lunge, keeping the left knee lifted. Walk the hands out in front of you. Push into the right big toe and see how far you can take your right knee forward. Keeping your left leg as straight as possible. Ground down through your right heel. Let that be an anchoring point for you. Hopefully you begin to feel a stretch through the hips and through your right ankle here. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Swing the right leg back to a three-legged plank pose so keep it floating. And then lift your left hand off the ground in any capacity. Set the left hand back down. Set the right foot down. Lift the left foot up. Lift the right hand up. Find the instability. Engage your core. Try to not lift your hips up. Right hand to the floor. Left foot to the floor. Knees drop, forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through, upward. Facing dog. Exhale, cruise back downward. Facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. And on the exhale, left foot to left thumb. Let the right knee lower to the floor. Inhale, push the hips forward as you open the heart, lift the chest. Stretching through the fingers, creating space. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Right knee lifts, left leg straightens as you push the hips back in space. Give yourself the ability to melt over the left leg. Remember, straight is relative. Straight is a cue. Straight is not specific. Bend the left knee. Keep the right leg as straight as possible. As you reach the left knee over the left big toe, anchoring down through the left heel. 
The more drive you can get through the right toes, the more space you'll begin to create in the hips here. More sensation, more feeling, which will also help us create more release towards the end. Keep pushing the left knee forward. Use your upper body as leverage to create that space. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push down through the palms. Let the left leg swing back to a three-legged plank pose so you keep it floating. Hold right here. Potentially float the right hand off the ground. Holding. And then right hand lands. Left foot lands. Right foot lifts. Left hand lifts. Try to keep the chest forward. Engage your core. Reach through your toes. Feel the stability. Left hand lands. Right foot lands. Knees drop, forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And on the exhale, right foot all the way up to the right thumb. Left knee lowers. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Open the heart, look up. On your exhale, fingertips to the floor. Let your left leg straighten as you fold over the right leg. Find the fold more than the straightening. Bend the right knee. This time, rise up into your high lunge. Notice how much more space you have here in your crescent position. Take the gaze out in front of you. Breathe into the moment. Embody your space. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Reach the right foot all the way back. Keep it floating. Push into the right palm. Rise onto the left fingertips. Float the left hand potentially. Holding your space. And switch. Left hand lands. Right foot lands. Left foot lifts. Right hand lifts. Flirting with the instability. Creating structure and stability. Right hand lands. Left foot lands. Knees drop. Forearms drop. Look forward. Inhale. Pull through. Upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts, and on the exhale, left foot all the way up to your left thumb. Right knee lowers. Inhale, reach the hands up, open the heart, create your space. On your exhale, fingertips to the floor. Push your hips up and away as you find a fold at the left hip crease. Bend your left knee long and strong in the right leg as you inhale, rise into your high lunge. Fight for length and strength in the right leg. Breathe into it. Embody the position that you're in. Elevate through the fingers. Hold your position. Be there for four, three, two. On one, hands to the floor. Left leg sweeps back. You know the game by this point. It stays floating. Rise onto right fingertips or even reach the right hand out in front of you. Feel the stability or the instability. And switch. Right hand lands, left foot lands, right foot floats, left hand floats, holding. Breathe into it. Try to not escape the shape, try to just be in the shape as best you can. Left hand lands, right foot lands, knees drop, forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through, upward facing dog. And exhale, cruise back downward, facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. On the exhale, right foot to right thumb. Left knee lowers down. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Look up, feel your ability to breathe through your spine. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Left knee lifts, right leg straightens, melts over the shin. Inhale, rise into your high lunge, even lengthen the stance if you want to. Feel your ability to be tall, to be strong, to be stable. Feel energy pulling up through your feet and into your legs. Feel as though your feet are steering your efforts here. We always think about the hips. We always think about where's the knee in relation to the ankle. But think about the feet driving the ship here. Can the left foot push? Can you drive through the left toes more to drive the left hip forward? Can you ground into the right heel so the right knee can stretch out and pull the right hip back in space? Live in your stability here. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Swing the right foot back. It stays floating as you lift the left hand off the ground. Holding here. 
Land the left hand. Land the right foot. Switch. Trust the strength you're building, the coordination you're creating. Notice that while this is tough, it is actually getting easier. Right hand lands, left foot lands. Knees drop, forearms drop, look out in front of you. Inhale, pull through, upward, facing dog. Exhale all the way back, downward, facing dog. Notice the freedom you're creating in your spine. Inhale, the left leg lifts. On the exhale, left foot all the way up to the left thumb. Lower the right knee down, Anjaneyasana. Lift the chest, create your space. Open the heart. On your exhale, fingertips to the floor. Right knee lifts, left leg straightens, fold over the shin. Bend your left knee. Lengthen your stance if that feels good to you. And then rise up into your high crescent lunge. I want full effort in those right toes to push the right hip forward. And then allowing your hips to sink down. Right? Breathe in here. And again, the way you play your poses is always your prerogative. But know that you have options. Know there's always things, always places you can take your mind. A lunge is just a lunge without your imagination, without your ability to focus, to hone in, to tune in, to make it more. Breathe in here. Lock into your gaze. On your exhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog, the left leg reaches behind you. Excuse me, not three-legged dog, three-legged plank. You know the game. Rise onto your right fingertips and then float the right hand off the ground. I would never skip one of these awkward plank poses. We all need to fight through the instability of life, even the instability of missed cues. Bring your right hand and left foot to the floor and switch right foot lifts, left hand lifts. Hold your space. Push through the right thumb, lift through the right foot. Breathing into it here. Trust it. And land. Knees and forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through, upward, facing dock. And exhale all the way back, downward, facing dock. Deep breath as you get back to your downward facing dog. Feel the hips lifted nice and high. Push into the palms. Drive through the hands. Feel the tailbone chasing the space you cannot see. And then from here, one round of awakening sun salutation. Because again, this is a night practice, so consider it more as an opportunity to say goodbye to the sun. Lift heels, bend knees for today. On the exhale, step or float feet to the outsides of your hands. Inhale, rise into active squat. Marinate in the position for a moment. Feel the strength, capability, and coordination in your legs. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart center. Bring the moment to you. Inhale, reach up to the space above. On your exhale, sit back down into active squat. Pull the divine into you. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows, bland, <laughs> elbows bend, plant the hands. On your exhale, vinyasa, find your rhythm. Planting the divine into the moment with your palms and then washing it through with your vinyasa because the cycle always repeats itself in every form of life. Inhale, roll forward to your plank pose. And then from here, slowly lower to the floor in seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. As you land, set your hands up for oscillating cobra pose. Hands around 10 and 2. Hips are heavy. Feet kick down. Inhale, lift up. Create elevation. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Soft waves through the spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, lower. Last one will linger at the top. Inhale, rise. Pause on your exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, let it go. From here, open your arms up like a T. Let your chin land on the floor for just a moment. And then drop your right ear to the ground so you're facing left. You're looking left. Bring your left hand in towards your chest. Scoot your left knee up to the height of your left hip. And then allow yourself to elevate and slide your right arm underneath your left armpit. From here, bring your left hand on top of your right hand. And then on your inhale, open your left arm up to the sky. Reach it as far over to the other side of the mat as possible. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. You can go faster or slower here. Probably not faster. But explore the stretch. Explore the space. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. We'll linger on this one. Inhale, open. And breathe here. Breathe into your left shoulder. Imagine that your left hand is holding a weight or just a small object that's helping you leverage the position. Breathe into your left rib cage, giving yourself the opportunity to see a new side of yourself. To explore a different perspective, a different awareness, a different opening. I mean, you could be much more open than me here. The back of your left hand could even be to the floor, just depending on how much you want to roll onto your right hip. My hips are square more towards the left side of my mat, but you could have your hips square more towards a wall on the left side of your mat. Again, there's many ways to play the shape, but the way you play the hips will give you, you know, rel a relationship between how open your left arm will go. On your exhale, close everything off. Bring the left hand back on top of the right. And then swing back to center and move over to your side too. And I'm going to journey to the back of the mat just so that I can face y'all as opposed to the wall over there. So here's the setup. You'll find your way onto your belly. Of course, you're already there. Bring the right knee up to the height of the right hip. Look to the right. Right hand pushes down close to the chest. Slide the left arm underneath so the left shoulder is on the floor. And you notice your hip position here, like you could be on the side of your left hip. I like to play it a bit more open. And then stack the right hand on top of the left. Inhale, open. Reach the right hand over your head. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And what you're doing on these ones we're moving around is you're just trying to find some lines of tension. You're trying to see maybe where you feel the sensation. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And hold. And this is the one where we'll linger in space a bit. So again, you want to imagine like a very easily accessible object is in your right hand. You know, a small stone, a pebble, Maybe one of your child's little characters, little toys, a stuffed animal is in your hand here, and that's just kind of weighing you into the position. The small toy is kind of what I always think of because Harvey has little trinkets and tchotchkes that she likes to hide and then bring to us. It's really sweet. Take your breath into your right rib cage. And you're moving from the right shoulder by way of the right hand, creating the leverage, allowing you to peel open in space. From here, slowly close off. Return to center. 
unwind the twist. Hopefully your spine feels amazing. And then I want you to push back to a pose that's kind of a mix between frog and child's pose. So knees slightly wider than the mat, feet comfortably on the mat. And I want you to have your hips in an anterior tilt, so your tailbone sticking up towards the sky. And then you're just dropping into that space. Right, the hands can be out in front of you if you want. You have a bolster, you have a pillow, a block even can support you. Also, your arms can support you, right? And just take some really deep breaths here. Feel the hips spilling forward onto the femurs, right? Find that, that water-like quality to your physicality. And what I mean by that, oftentimes when we think of water and yoga, we think of flow, we think of rhythm, we think of oceans, right? Waves. And all that stuff is beautiful and perfect for many analogies. But I want you to think about water more as water going to the lowest point, right? Water will always go to the lowest point. And so you're just thinking about sinking down here. You're filling space. You're finding softness. You're finding grace. And you're allowing yourself to just marinate in this moment and let it linger for as long as you need to. Your body's very prepared to be here. This is a great place to cool down, to unwind, and to live in your introverted space, right? Eliminating distractions, living with you on the inside. Giving yourself an opportunity to have some of those discussions to develop that relationship between you and you. Oftentimes, the relationships that we focus on are very external, but if we can tap inside and create a stronger bond within us, it becomes much easier to create a bond with others. As always, y'all, it's such a pleasure to share space. Thank you so much for practicing with me here. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.